Right, what have I got today? Boosh, it is a versus video. In fact, turn that over. It's a versus video. So it is the Engineer PH55, and I'll show you that. There you go, the PH55, a beautiful pair of scissors. I do have a full review of this, and I'm doing a versus against the Engineer PH57. Just to show you there, PH57. Both made in Japan, both stainless steel, both beautiful blades. Slight difference, obviously in size, big difference is in the overall length. Handle, grip size is different, so obviously leverage will be different Different as it becomes bigger. You know, movement movement changes, but then as a, as a result, the, the lever becomes bigger, and the bigger the lever, the more force you can apply there, or the easier the force is to apply. Uh, differences to note, though, is this is a standard blade on one side, and then it is standard, then micro serrations, but the micro serrations are smaller on this one. So let's look at them there. So they're very small on that one, compared to the ones on that one, you see? So there's the 55, and then you compare the serrations on the 57. Different, uh, I would say they're much smaller on that. You get these U cutouts, which is to stop rope and stuff slipping away. Although I think the, the micro serrations on this and the micro serrations on that, everything I've cut didn't push away. So is that really necessary? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. So let's do some cutting tests. Okay. So, and what I'm going to do is they'll either get through or they won't. Now, these are extremely good scissors, so I'm presuming they'll get through most things. If they don't get through, and I'm going to tell you how it feels in the cut, but I'm going to try and be as fair as possible. So straight off let's start with a bit of plastic so let's try with the older ones the 55 there see that engineer 55 so let's see what that feels like so from start to finish that felt effortless and then you can see it leaves the serrations there see that so let's try against on this right next to that same cut i'm going to be honest that feels just as easy both of those felt effortless and you can see parallel, there's the serrations on that one, and the serrations on there are much, much smaller. They're still there, you can see them. If I get it to focus, focus your swine, there you go. So, okay, I would say both did that 10 out of 10, no problem. Okay, so next, cardboard. Let's try a bit of cardboard. So, 55s, this is a single ply corrugated, you see that there? Right, that was like going through air, nothing, nothing whatsoever, straight through. And with these, again, absolutely, both of those fl came through flying colours. So you can see straight off which one's which, can't you, from the serrations. So there's the 55. And then on that one, is there any serrations? There is on this side, there you see it. And that is the 57. Okay, so again, no problem. So let's double this over and try again. In fact, no, let's triple it. So triple cardboard, corrugated. Ah, Okay, now I'm having to put a little bit extra force on there, but it did go all the way through. So that was interesting. Let's try with this. I'm going to go to the same point. So if I take it to about there, so here we go. Straight through again. Now, I would say that was slightly easier with these. And I'll tell you why. It's the longer lever. So let's try again. Let's see if that was just a fluke. So again, now you see it stopped. What? Let's see how far that got. So it stopped at almost three quarters. And then to complete it, I would have to then put a bit more force on. So let's try again with these. So I'm going to try and get to the same point there. Look at that, different. Okay, so I would say these won, and I think it's simply because they're bigger. That's really, really good. I mean, look, we're asking it to do quite a bit here. That's like four bits of corrugated all at once. So both of them can do it. That one was easier, so win to that one. So get rid of that. Right, rope. Let's see how rope does. Right, on this, let's see if it pushes away. So I'm not going to hold it. So if those serrations should prevent it from pushing away. And they do, and it's straight through. That was just like through air, through nothing. And let's try the same with this. I'm not going to use the cutting feature there, which is specifically for rope. I'm just going to use the micro serrations. Didn't push away, no problem. And then if you, if you did have rope that was thicker or was pushing away, you would put it against these cutting U sections and then there's no way that can go anywhere it's digging in and then oh yeah that was easy straight through no problem so I would say they both passed this test with flying colours regardless of where you cut on yeah no problem okay so what else have we got right I have a this just happens to be a serial 88 connector 
There you go. Serial 88 connector from a PC that I was building. Uh, I'm not going to use this, but I just thought it would be interesting to see what it was like when you cut into it. Uh, these are for an SSD or, and a hard or a hard, normal hard drive if you don't have an M2 type, but people won't be interested in that. That's for computer building. Anyway, so let's try with this. So we'll try it on the serrated section. Okay, so one-handed. Wow, that was just like nothing. There you go, straight through, and you can see the wire inside there. There they are. That was just nothing straight through the plastic and the metal try with this let's see if it feels the same i'll get you a nice close-up view there one-handed just to just to show i'm not cheating here yeah that's just <laughs> that's just like going through air so again beautiful dead sharp straight through no problems okay so they both passed that one right what else can i throw at it right i've got paper there but that's not particularly impressive right i've got some this is network cable here, so you can see all the wires in there. I presume both of these will do this easily. So we'll try on the older ones here, the 55s, one-handed there, just to see if it does push away. It's not pushing away, and that's straight through. That was very, very easy. And I'll do the same on this, and I'll do it. Just I'll show you the cut surface there, beautiful. And then I'll do the same on this. I'm going to not use the u blade section i'm going to use the serrated just to see if it does push away see if those serrations are big enough so one handed there's my other hand yeah that feels exactly the same straight through no problems so i didn't even have to use the little u section so again both got through no problem do i have anything thicker and more robust i do ah here we go right this is the thickest wire i've got here so very very thick insulation then it is a two core and that is stranded copper quite big and very, very robust. It's hard to bend this. So let's try with this. Right, so here we go. Right, one-handed. <laughs> That's just like nothing. Straight through, look. There you go. Beautiful cut straight through. Notice the serrations at the top there. That's quite interesting. And then on this one, I'm going to try the same. I'll try it on the micro serrated section. One-handed. Yeah, that's just that's just like cutting through butter. That's just nothing. But if you notice on that one, the serrated, there's nothing at the top, but if I turn it around so you can see the serrated side, there is some serrations there, but it's certainly not as big as the other one. But again, a beautiful cut. So I've got this stuff. This is really, really, really thick cardboard. Listen, super, super thick. Right, so let's try this. I don't think they'll get through this. So try with these ones, and I'll do it from the side so you can see how far it gets. Okay, so... Right, that one got to there. So this is extremely hard and a normal pair of scissors is just isn't going to dent this. You might get a tiny nick out of it. So that's going up to there. So I'm going to try with these ones. Let's see how far they get. I'll do, I'll do it right next to it. Ah, further. Interesting. So look how much further that is. So let's have a look. Do I have... Let's have a look at the... Just so you can, you can get an idea of scale here. So yeah, so ah, oh, interesting. Okay, so that that that's a quarter more at least. So pretty impressive, and it's gone straight through, no issues there. So again, these ones have won. Uh, now the th the other thing I do have, there's one. I do have a DVD. This does have some stuff on it, but I'm not using it. So let's see what happens with this. Now I know that these are capable of doing this, and I'm not going to cut all the way through because I don't want it shattering all over the all over the place. But see that. Yeah, absolute nothing straight through. That, that's just like through butter, easy through the plastic and the foil on the top there. Because for people who don't know, the, the DVDs, that's that's all they are. It's just plastic and then you have the foil over the top and then the laser imprints on the surface of the foil that it can see. So let's try with this. I'm going to go in a similar location. Yeah, exactly the same. I would say they're about average, even though this doesn't claim it can cut that. It certainly did it, look. Yeah, it went further in, so that's very interesting, isn't it? So I would say it's capable of that, but it's not rated for that. So don't do that if that if you're buying it for that purpose. Go for this one. It's it's probably more capable and more robust because of the serrations. So they both passed that one. I would say this one won. So in regards to this quick quick versus, I try to keep this under ten minutes. I would say <clears throat> they're both very similar, but because of the size of this. You've got a longer lever, it's more capable. However, 
in their own literature that can't do a DVD and a CD that one can so there are slight differences and the differences in the size of the serrations and the differences in the fact that it'll have this so if you've got really pushy away rope when you're trying to cut it this is probably the better one so you've got to ask yourself how much space have you got if you've got the space they may be better so there you go right I've tried to keep that fair if you have any comments stick them down below or if you're like trail trek can I cut through this can I cut through that I'll have it I'll certainly test it if I can right thank you very much I'll let you get on with your day goodbye